we create this category. The original Note large screen and the iconic S Pen launched new standard in smartphone culture. With that progress in mind, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the next Galaxy Note. This is Galaxy Note 4. This is Galaxy Note 4. This new Note combines three key attributes. First, the most perfect and refined S Pen and the S Note experience. The second, the latest and the most advanced Galaxy technology. And the last three, all nicely presented through look and feel of a new design language. The Galaxy Note 4 will continue to set industry standard for how smartphone should help our lives become more enriched, more enjoyable, and more efficient. But we did not stop there. Please now meet new Galaxy Note Edge. This is Galaxy Note Edge. This is Galaxy Note Edge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Galaxy Note Edge. This Galaxy Note Edge is the first smartphone to use one of a kind at the screen. This unique covered screen maximizes Note experience with the Samsung innovative display technology. It will lead our smartphone experience to a whole new level. I am very confident that we have reached new level of Note culture with the new Note 4 and the Note Edge. In terms of wearables, we have already announced the newest mobile technology that will further change our lifestyle. This is all new Samsung Gear S. This Gear S brings powerful smartphone experience to your wrist. Not only providing a truly connected smart wearable experiences, but also it become perfect health mate to stay fit. Samsung Gear S is the start of a new lifestyle revolution. Now, I would like to talk about totally new form factor of wearables. Can you guess? Can you imagine what it is? Ladies and gentlemen, here is most innovative, most exciting Samsung Gear VR. Samsung Gear VR, together with Galaxy Note 4, offers the next generation of a viewing experience. I believe a lot of developers and the content provider will be very much encouraged 
to join this exciting momentum. With the Gear S and the VR, your mobile experience in our daily life will never be the same. Okay, this was just a brief first look at these exciting new devices. More detailed product information and other present surprises are next on our agenda. I am really honored today to have this opportunity to present Samsung's latest innovations. And I appreciate this opportunity to share few expectations of the future of our industry, especially together with you. I really thank you all of you for being part of this exciting moment today. And finally, I also really thank you for your very attentive listening of my speech. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, DJ. As you just heard, you are what the advanced technology from Samsung is all about. Your desire for the next big thing, plus our commitment for trying something new, creates a culture with which meaningful innovation can and original products can grow. We started the large screen smartphone movement, and we continue to lead in this area. Our mobile multitasking experience is part of our daily lives, and it will continue to grow in importance. Finally, our original S Pen. It bridges the world of analog writing to digital expression. And all this defines the note culture. And now, we're adding the fastest network connectivity there is. LTE category six on the Galaxy Note 4. And Note 4's outstanding performance takes full advantage of Google's latest operating system. And we're very proud of our long-term partnership with Google and what that means with Google and what that means for you. Okay, let's give the people what they want straight down to the tech. And we're going to kick off with a flagship device that's already received a lot of attention from media and consumers. Now, does bigger mean better is a debate that's raged on for years. But the fact is that extra large screens have proved popular with millions of people around the world. Um, and I'm personally still not sure whether a large phone or small tablet is the best description. But just as the Liger doesn't ask whether it's more lion or tiger, Either way, it's great to look at, and it's an extremely powerful beast. It's a great analogy, I think, Rachel. But oh, thank you. let's take you through the headline capabilities of the Galaxy Note 4. Design, large screen and multitasking, S Pen, and camera. OK, then we'll starting with design. This is an increasingly important part of technology, and especially mobile technology, because it's such a personal statement using your mobile. Um, so let's see how the Note 4 stacks up, Rory. Um, I mean, straight away, as we saw on the screen, and I can see here, you can see the design continuity from the Note 3. Um, but can you tell us how the design has evolved since then? Well, sure. The first thing to look at is a sophisticated update on the Galaxy Note 3. We've kept, however, our soft textured back cover. And you can yeah. check out what we've added. It's something that you're going to love. A beautifully cut metal frame that's stylish and strong. And along with mm -hmm. our 2.5D glass, which we first featured in the Galaxy S3, you can see the beautiful natural curve from the surface tension. OK, yeah, I can just about see that. Um, but let's be honest, you've used 2.5D glass before. So what difference are us as consumers going to notice? Well, actually, we've enhanced the strength of the glass, resulting in this elegant curved display with remarkable durability. You know, that's good news for me, actually, because I'm ridiculously clumsy. I've even run over one of my phones with my car before. Um, so maybe the Note 4 will even stand up to the challenge of having me as an owner. <laughs> Rachel, challenge accepted. Brave, very so, brave. So Note 4 weighs 176 grams. It's 8.5 millimeters thin. And we're releasing it in four colors. We have black, white, gold, and pink. OK. well. It looks and it feels like a great piece of technology. Um, it's a great size, obviously a brilliant selling point for the Note series in general. Um, and I love all the colors, so it gets good marks for design quality straight away. Um, but let's not be too superficial here, because you can't get by on good looks alone, can you? Well, that's why we've improved the Note 4's user interface. 
It fulfills our vision to make your everyday simpler, easier, and more fun. We've evolved the Galaxy S5's clean and vibrant user experience and brought it all to the Note 4. And we've added a new transparent widget. So now you can access all your information and still enjoy your screen's beautiful background. Yeah, I mean, you can see it up there, and the, the transparency of the widget definitely improves the appearance. Um, I mean, there's a reason you choose the wallpaper that you like, isn't there? So that small change just improves the aesthetic really quickly. Well, well that's right. And with Note 4, you can customize the lock screen background with created images that are built around your interests, and at your location, and of course, from your personal gallery. Thank you to Yahoo and other third-party contributors for making our lock screens more dynamic with thousands of high-quality images. Again, I like this. It's clearly a change that Samsung has made with the user experience at heart. Um, and it gives you another option to just maybe using cat photos like me. Um, but you did mention interest there, and I hope cats are still an interest that you can have for all those curated images you mentioned. Anyway, oh, let's, let's all we'll move on. I'll let you get back to me on that. Um, but for now, can you tell me about the new Note 4 screen? Well, based on our screen history, stretching back to 2011, when we created the large screen smartphone category with Galaxy Note's 5.3-inch groundbreaker, incredible displays have always been part of our passion. And our humble apologies for getting this right. <laughs> and Note 4 continues to lead the category with the beautiful 5.7-inch Quad HD Super AMOLED screen, meaning you get sharper, brighter, and more legible image. So whether you're noting, browsing, reading, watching videos, or looking at photos, even under less than ideal light conditions, you'll still get a great viewing experience. Yeah, I mean, it really does provide a sharp image just flicking through the pictures here. It's brilliant, you can't deny it. Um, but there are already smartphones on the market with Quad HD, aren't there? Well, Note 4 has Quad HD Super AMOLED, which means it gives you much more access to the available color space. We've advanced its design screen technology that we introduced in the Galaxy Tab S only just a few months ago, and even though it's a little smaller, it still has the same Super AMOLED display capabilities. So what you're saying is it's more compact, but it's just as powerful. That's right. a great way to put it. In fact, Super AMOLED is so much better, it's really not fair to compare. But the best way to understand is for you to see it for yourself. Okay, well, I think we'll keep fairness at the heart for today. Um, so I appreciate much of what you're saying really requires a head-to-head -head analysis. Um, but getting back to the real world for a minute, how is a real-life person going to notice the difference day-to-day? -day? Give me an example. Well, here's a great example. Multitasking. We know that people use the recent key to move between applications when they could work faster and easier if they could also use multi-window. But many users told us that they found it hard to find multi-window. So we concentrated the functions of multi-window inside the recent key, making it easier to locate and easier to use. There's so much more you can do in your daily life with Note 4's enhanced multi-window function. Take a look. This reporter, he's using his Note 4 to grab some research material and uses multi-window to prepare for an interview. OK, well, there's loads of ways you could imagine that being useful. And Rachel, if you head on over here, I'll show you another example. Please do. Wait for me. Thank you, David. No. On your smartphone, the pen is mightier than the finger or the thumbs. You may think you know this, but the next evolution of S Pen is capable of so much more. It's the key to unlocking the full potential of the Note 4, and from the moment you take it out, you're taking the first step in unleashing that potential for yourself. And it does it in a number of original ways. S Pen has always differentiated our large screen devices from all others on the market. So we spent a lot of time improving the handwriting ability, giving S Pen much more of the sensation of writing with a real pen. You know, that sounds great, because one thing that I hear all the time is that people want the convenience of the digital, but the feeling of analog still. But that's what we've also identified. So we've doubled the pressure sensitivity from Note 3, and with this enhanced sensitivity, her highest in the industry, on-screen noting now feels almost exactly like writing. You can note at an angle, you can spin it ever so slightly, and you still get a precise response. It can note quickly, just like a real pen. And we've added two beautiful noting options, calligraphy and fountain pen. OK, so that kind of feature will be good for signing digital signatures, maybe, or pa perhaps Autograph. digital autographs. I don't know whether I can ask you two for yours later. On later, later, Rachel. Later, later, later. OK, well, you promised. We've also added a very powerful feature called Smart Select. It allows you to capture several pieces of content in a row. For example, a series of images from websites 
or different text messages from your favorite blogs. And you can take all of those that you've selected and save and share them with your friends via email or a text message. Now, let's see how David uses Smart Select in his demo. <laughs> all right, back to me. So, it's actually my sister's birthday today. Is it really? Yes. And Happy I'm using, birthday to your sister. I'm using the stage to, to do that, so that's a personal thing. But um, I'm thinking of sending her on a trip to Paris. Nice guy. As a, that's, can I be your sister? Um, okay. That's very generous. Cool. Lovely. Done. Okay, let's plan this trip. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look in TripAdvisor, okay? And I want to send her some information, so what I do is, is I open up Air Command and I click on Smart Select. Mm -hmm. And I can actually choose images that I want to store. Very so nice. that hotel looks promising. And then let's get another one here. Bit of a cheaper option. Yeah. And I can actually scroll and then find another one right here. Okay, so it, it gathers all the pictures together. Exactly. So, but a part of that is I can actually go and add some other stuff from a different source. So I want to inspire her and send a picture of Paris That's right lovely. there. Iconic. Okay, and of course... It's unimaginative, I have to say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I have to... It wouldn't be a message without a happy birthday message. Well, so. you're a lovely brother. And all those images are just shoved together. Yes, together, right here. I click back onto this smart select grouping here and I see everything I gathered. And I can actually edit things. I can remove things right here like that. Very easy, very intuitive. Yep. And then what I can do is I can send it in an email very easily. Open up a new email. All I do is just drag and drop. Nice. And oh, that's lovely. There you go. And it's done. It's as simple as that. It's done and you send it right away. And also, there's this. Yeah. Thank you. But S Pen can move beyond just being a pen and do some of the same things that you're used to and used to be able to doing with a mouse. So as the florist is doing, you can select several images at once by clicking and dragging just like a mouse. And you can share them right away. I'm going to peer so, over so I can have those. For sure. So what we've been used to is you just click each photo that you want, right? Everyone knows that. But now you just click the button, just click and drag. And just select it. Very simple. Well, it, very simple indeed. And very, there's something lovely and familiar about it, just the same way as you do it on a laptop. On a laptop. Exactly. Like, very useful. You can also do it with text. So if I say we're at a, a website, I can just click, I drag, and I can click and drag again. So you can, multi, you can copy multiple spots at once. Mm, lovely. Nice feature. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And you're going to love how S Note uses our advanced S Pen to the fullest. We've added an S Note widget so you can access Note in four really quick ways. You can write a note, snap a note, type a note, or speak a note. So whenever and wherever you have an idea, you'll never miss the chance to make a note of it. And we found a way to write without actually having to write. For when you need to copy something very quickly, perhaps, like from a whiteboard in a meeting. You could use Snap Note to capture the image and then edit it. I see. So just, I mean, that gives me images. If I'd have had that at uni, it would have been amazing. It would have taken away so much of the pain of lectures. If I'd have gone to lectures, I'd have used that all the time, <laughs> definitely. Um, but maybe now I'm a bit older, I might use it for my recipe book, take a, a picture and add my own notes. So maybe ne ne more chocolate next time, usually for me. Uh, Rachel. Probably not if I'm making lasagna. I'm, I'm digressing. You, you're right. Carry on. Stop yeah, not the lasagna, hopefully. But Snapnote, it's a great feature, and we made it really simple. All you do is press the Snapnote button on the S-Note widget and use the camera to take a picture of the info you need. And even if the picture is tilted, Note 4 adjusts the angle of the photo so that it makes it straight. Another good thing for students. Yes. In case they've had one the night before. Yep, in an auditorium. Then when you press the Convert to Edit button, that's exactly what happens. You can edit change colors, resize, or annotate the photo as you wish. I see. So you, you literally can't do that kind of thing with your finger, which is why you need the S Pen and why it really does add something extra to the smartphone. 
That's right. I get it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the new S Pen. Now let's move on to our fourth category, the camera. Yeah, well, taking photos is such an important feature on a smartphone now. I've caught myself calling my phone my camera on so many occasions. Um, but this really is a competitive area of the smartphone market. And quite frankly, it's not all about the stats, is it? Well, you're absolutely right, which is why with Note 4, we're going beyond the numbers and focusing on ease of use and real quality photographs. That's why we've made Note 4 with superb cameras front and back. Note 4 has a, four, a 16 megapixel back camera with smart, smart OAS, that's optical image stabilization, and 3.7 megapixel front facing camera with an f1.9 lens. That's why when you're using your either camera on the Note 4, your photos will always be clear and bright. And you know, you can't really talk about cameras without mentioning the selfie. I mean, it's a phenomenon now, isn't it? People are taking literally millions every day. And there was even that monkey that took one. Did you see it? Yes. Uh, we want to help everyone take better selfies and more easily, even though right now, right now, we're not currently focused on the monkey mark. Well, maybe next year. Maybe. So with Note 4, we've improved the front camera to capture up to 60% more light. So even under low light, you'll get brighter and sharper images. Right. OK, so 60% more light. It will definitely improve the quality of photos. Um, but it won't help you take a steady shot, which is another challenge with selfies, isn't it? Exactly. So we've used the heart rate sensor on the back of the Note 4 as an additional shutter button, so you have a steady hand to take the shot. There's virtually no motion, so it doesn't generate any shake. All you do is you oh, simply hang on. cover Photo it. Opportunity. And uncover it. <laughs> <laughs> you photobombed us. Did I get in? There you awesome. go. You made it a lot better, actually. <laughs> Love it. So better photos, better selfies, and everyone's happy. You can Photoshop me out of it later. Thanks, thanks. And of course, as this audience knows, it's even more challenging to get a great Wi-Fi, like yeah. Ellen did at the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, Wi-Fi. This was a new term on me, and if you haven't heard of it, then it's pretty self-explanatory. It's like a selfie, except we're all in it. The challenge, of course, with great Wi-Fi's is getting everyone in the shots with that outstretched arm. That's why we widened the front camera's viewing angle from 77 degrees to 90 degrees. So now you can get even more friends into the shot. And even better, we've got a wide selfie mode where you can pan the camera from left to right through 120 degrees, <laughs> giving you a brilliant panoramic shot with the front camera. You know, this is brilliant. Recently, I was on a trip with some girlfriends and we coined something that we hope we invented called the lifty. So there were 15 girls in a lift. We attempted it. It wasn't the best success, like you say, because it's just hard. So maybe the wide selfie mode would have helped us. If the lifty ever takes sure, off, right. I'm going to use it. So we don't have a lift on stage right now, but why don't we try the wide selfie with the audience? Yeah. With this audience? OK. Yeah. Well, this is going to require a bit of audience participation. So if the beautiful people could make yourselves more prominent and everyone else just duck down for or this. Just put your hands a nice up. photo. Thanks, guys. OK. okay. All right, we're going to do it on three. One, two, three. Wide selfie. Cheese. <laughs> it does take a couple of seconds, so thanks for the cheers there. It's just processing. Oh, let's check out this beautiful result. photo. Make sure I've everyone got my can eyes see shut. it. It's okay. <laughs> you still look good. It's okay. I'm not going to count. I think we should put that on social media later and count we how many we people will. we got in there. They'll go through the wires. And that's the wide angle weeping. Great shot. <laughs> so now let's take a look at the back camera. With 16 megapixels and high precision smart OIS, you get more stable pictures even in a shaky situation. The other benefit to smart OIS is it shows up in very low light settings. Before with DIS, even though you got great pictures in low light, it took longer to process because the camera had to synthesize multiple pictures into one. But now with smart OIS, you get the same great pictures, but faster. So we've introduced to you today four key aspects of our flagship product. Design, large screen and multitasking, S Pen and camera, all on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Yeah. Well, of our flagship product. Design, large screen and multitasking, S Pen and camera, all on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. everything I'm hearing
hearing so far, but I hate to put a spanner in the works, but the biggest bug pair, and that's something that I hear universally for phone users, is what is the point of all these brilliant innovations and features if they drain your device so quickly that you can't actually use it? Well, I agree, and we've taken great care and spent millions of hours perfecting the battery experience of Note 4. Now, we all have those days where you don't know if you're gonna get through on a single charge, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, mostly. So, wouldn't it be helpful for those times when you can charge your phone that it happens really fast? And with fast charging, you can go from zero battery to around 50% in 30 minutes, when it usually takes an hour. So, zero to 50 in 30. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Yeah. That's a great step. You know, I wish I'd have known that before I worked on this TV show and we invented something we called phone charging trousers. So the idea was as I walked, it charged my phone, but they had me kind of lunging around, literally looking like an idiot like this. I don't know why I'm recreating it. Um, but it charged the phone so slowly and I probably would have had to walk to maybe Paris to get any kind of usage out of my oh, yeah. phone. So it does show the extreme measures that people will go to to get battery power though. But Rachel, for clarification for you and the audience, fast right. charging from Samsung does not include, involve lunging, nope. trousers, or a joint to Paris. Well, it might be fun, but thanks for clarifying. Okay. Cheers, Rory. In Note 4, it has very low power consumption, which improves battery life by 7.5%. Okay. It sips, not gulps, energy from the 3220 milliamp hour battery, which is only 20 milliamp hours larger than Note 3's. So what you're saying is that you've barely increased the size of the battery, but you've jumped from full HD to quad HD, so surely we're just going to have to charge the phone more often. So you might think that, Rachel, but because we made every component of Note 4 even more efficient, battery life has actually improved. And it's an okay. impressive advance in technology, and we're very, very proud of it. People and will be glad to hear that, yeah, exactly. An ultra power saving mode, which was such a hit on the Galaxy S5, is also now on the Note 4. The battery capabilities of Note 4 are the first steps that Samsung is taking to address the power issues on our mobile devices. Okay, well, we've seen a lot of features that involve the visual, um, but what about the phone and the audio side of things? Because it's easy to forget that the Note 4 is still a phone, after all. Absolutely, and it's a great phone. We've enhanced the voice recorder on Note 4 with a couple of interesting features. As you can see here, actors are sitting around a table rehearsing their lines. The Note 4 is tracking them. Okay, well, it's intrigued me, but I don't feel fully filled in. So, what's the tech here? Well, Note 4 has three new microphones to enhance the voice recorder. In meeting mode, the new feature you saw in the video, you can record sound from up to eight distinct directions and then selectively replay the recording by direction. Interview mode is directional recording with ambient noise suppression, ideal for journalists because it's perfect for recording two people in a noisy environment and then playing back one voice very clearly. And Note 4's improved noise cancellation helps when you're talking on the phone, especially when you're on speakerphone. We've introduced new content and accessories that allow people to customize their phones and make them more personal. We have a great lineup of accessories, including four covers. We have the S-View cover, mm -hmm. the Flip Wallet, the S-View Wallet, and LED cover, which come in a variety of colors and two very stylish designs. And we've also collaborated with Swarovski to create a very special oh. crystal back cover. Okay, now you're talking. <laughs> what do you think, Rachel? Uh, well, they I like mean, it. as you heard, a lot of range, very popular, but I hate to be a stereotypical girl, but I like the sparkly one. Me too. All right, you guys, I like it too. It sounds okay. like everyone likes the sparkly one. It's the biggest buzz so far. <laughs> like mine. <laughs> <laughs> now, because S Pen is such a big part of Note 4, it makes sense that one of our newest collaborations is with a company whose name is synonymous with the finest of writing experiences. We'd now like to introduce to the stage a new Samsung partner. Please give a warm welcome to the Chief Marketing Officer of Mont Blanc, Jens Henning Koch. Thank you very much, Rory. It's great to be here. 
The Mont Blanc Meisterstück this year celebrates its 90th anniversary and soon after its launch it became a legend not only within the world of writing culture but also beyond as a true luxury icon. With its unique blend of exclusivity, functionality and refinement in mind, this event reveals a perfect match we are very excited about. Mont Blanc's century-old heritage of craftsmanship meets Samsung's cutting edge and impressive innovations. Today, we are very proud to introduce fine writing to the digital world by presenting Mont Blanc's first screenwriters, the classic Pix and the contemporary E-Star Walker. Both new writing instruments feature an innovative e-refill concept. Being a Mont Blanc, thus being a fine lifetime companion for its owner, their refills for e-writing, for writing on the screen, and the traditional refill for writing on paper can be easily exchanged and vice versa, thus allowing its owner to write with the Pix and E-Star Walker in both worlds. <laughs> to carry the digital writing experience even further, we in addition launch an advanced flip cover for the Galaxy Note 4. With the cover, you will be able to experience the very best leather finishings, be it the ultra-resistant extreme or the refined soft grain leather. A special chip connects the Gallery Note 4 and further enhances the writing experience with unique Mont Blanc contents. For example, you can select between six virtual Mont Blanc fountain pen nibs, allowing you to create and share extremely refined and personal content and notes. Combining fine writing tradition and cutting edge technology to create stunning fine lifetime companions for you, we are very excited about this cooperation and are very much looking forward for future projects. Thank you. Thank you. Another great example of mixing the familiar analog experience like using a pen with new digital technology. So, yeah, I can see why partnering with Mont Blanc is good for you both. Um, so, okay, I think we've covered the optional extras. So now let's move on to the freebies. Everybody loves a freebie, don't they? Well, Samsung Galaxy Gifts offers Note 4 users free rewards from top content and services brands to make the Note 4 experience more enjoyable and more productive. We have a great partnership with Dropbox, which will give users 50 gigabytes of cloud storage for two years. We also want to give a big thank you to OnLive, Magisto, Parallels, and to all of our Galaxy Gifts partners. And those greatest innovations are those that revolutionize the everyday. And with Note 4, we're enabling new ways of working, playing, and interacting with the things you love. We're very proud of the innovation that we've brought to the Galaxy Note 4, and we're confident that when you see it, you'll really love it. So in addition to the fabulous design, Note 4's key capabilities, Quad HD Super AMOLED, large screen and multitasking, the all-new S Pen, now with Smart Select, the brighter front and rear camera, and of course, fast charging. These are the differentiators for Note 4. <laughs> that will be available in October. Great, thank you, Rory. So October, not long for us to wait. Um, but since we are waiting, um, I hear the next device that you're going to reveal to us is a bit on the edgy side. Oh. Kind of uh, cutting edge. I see what you did there. Living on the edge. In fact, our next device does redefine form. And it's a perfect example of how Samsung is moving from the impossible through to the possible. Of how Samsung is moving from the impossible through to the possible.
Today, as you heard from DJ, we're introducing a special edition of Note 4 called the Galaxy Note Edge. This edition is completely new, using a curved display innovation that we know will make a difference to how you interact and use your smartphone. I mean, this really is, if you can see it, it it's truly a thing of beauty. It's gorgeous. It's I'm not only beautiful, it. it's also practical. It all starts with an extended screen along the side of the device we call edge screen. And it's a fresh new vision for what a display can be. And the possibilities of edge screen, as you can see, we are really excited about because when the developer community starts to add to this experience. For today though, let me show you where we're starting. The main screen and the edge screen are Quad HD Plus Super AMOLED. The edge screen can house your frequently used apps as a way to extend your home screen instead of having them always along the bottom. An edge screen can also become a series of seven scrollable panels that you can customize. It's genuinely inventive. I think that's definitely worth a round of applause. There's a ripple there. You can use Edge Screen also as a separate screen entirely. And you can always access these quick tools just with a swipe down, such as flashlight, ruler, stopwatch, timer, and voice recorder, independent of what's happening on your home screen. And one of the scrollable panels called Express Me can be personalized with a picture from your gallery to express yourself on your mobile. Other panels show information and act like a ticker. And this media stream is driven by your interests. So you're always up to date with sports or news or stocks that are all powered by Yahoo. So are there going to be cat pictures available on this one then? I'll go back to you on that, Rachel. Okay, please do. <laughs> Edge screen, however, is a great place for a night clock. So you don't have to wake up to find out how long you've got left to wake up. And when it comes to entertainment, the video play pause controls can also be on edge screen. So you get full screen un uninterrupted viewing. And to avoid distraction from notifications on your main screen, they'll scroll on edge screen instead. And finally, whether you're using S Note or camera, the menu and toolbar on edge screen shows the content that you can see in the main screen. The camera shutter can also live on the edge screen. So if you choose, it can be positioned exactly like it is on a real digital camera. Well, it's beautiful. Obviously, I don't need to restate that. Well, it's beautiful. Obviously, I don't need to restate that. And, but David, you kind of skirted over it. If you only have to use the edge screen and not activate the front camera, it must save a lot of that precious battery life as well. Yes, that's right. So that's another great benefit. Also, Note Edge will have two flip wallets designed to take full advantage of edge screen so that even when the cover is closed, the edge, it remains visible. So as you can see, there's a lot of meaningful innovation built into this special edition product which will be available in select markets. The software development kit will be released today. And the phone is all yours to experience in our experience zone. Well, I'm personally really excited to have a proper play of this later. So it's going to be a race to that experience zone when this is finished. That's right. Well, that's the Galaxy Note Edge. Gorgeous. Beautiful. So if we can, let's move on to our next new device. This one builds off a product we introduced last year right on this very stage. Yes, we introduced Galaxy Gear right here in the Tempodrome, and it's achieved the place in the market that we're very proud of, which says we're definitely headed in the right direction. And the next generation of gear is a big step forward in wearable technology. We call it Samsung Gear S. the things you do most often on your phone, Gear S brings the freedom of a smartphone to your wrist. 3G connectivity and a curved Super AMOLED display means you now have the style and the freedom you've been looking for in a smart wearable. You can go for a run, your phone's at home, no problem. Well, that's refreshing to hear because I cycle a lot, actually, and I normally have my phone kind of balanced on my basket for navigation. Um, and cycling in London, if you know London, it rains all the time. So anything that makes that process easier for me is a winner. Well, then you'll be happy to know that Gear S doesn't need to be constantly paired with your smartphone because it has its own SIM card 
meaning you don't need to bring your mobile or any other device with you when you go mobile. Of course, the first time you set up Gear S, you do need to connect it to a Note 4, Note Edge, or any of the more than 20 Galaxy products that support Gear S. Additionally, for any software updates or to download apps, you have to reconnect to a Galaxy product. But after that, freedom. Well, that's a real, that's a real step forward for smart wearables. So it's not just a separate screen, but it's actually got its own independent functionality. Exactly. exactly. Well, I'm really impressed by the screen as well. It's just the whole size of my wrist. Well, with Gear S, we wanted to replicate as closely as possible the smartphone experience. So, for example, in only a two-inch display, Gear S still offers a full QWERTY keyboard. And it's not just any display. It's a two-inch curved Super AMOLED display. The curve means that it fits your wrist comfortably. It does. And the Super AMOLED display means that it's bright and clear. The interface has also been improved, and it's very easy to use. You can read messages and notifications in just a single glance. We've also designed a variety of new clock faces to satisfy your on-demand style. Yeah, I've just been having a fiddle of that. So it, it's great. You can have a lot of different looks in one. Um, so say I was starting my day in the gym, then going to the TV studio, and then maybe winding up at an ambassador's ball. I've got a different look for each, and my wearable keeps up. And not only does it keep up, you don't need to have your smartphone with you the whole time. So how about we take a closer look? You can see here in one of the clock faces, this sh it shows the number of steps walked today, uh -huh. battery status, number of notifications, and of course, the date and the time. And we've also improved the ease of use with simple swipes. So Rachel, perhaps if okay. you could take your phone and test. swipe to the right. Swipe to the right. And I've got notifications. That's right. And notice that the notifications, they're ordered by time and sorted into easily checked sections. They are indeed. So let's try swiping left, please. Swiping left. And left to widgets. Uh -huh. And then finally, swipe up. Up. Up, oh, let's go back to the home stream, and up. Fingers Thank are you. too fat, and I've got apps. That's right, and once you check the home screen to see what's happening, you can go straight into the app that you need. And without my sweaty palms, it's simple. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot more to this wearable, which brings the freedom of a smartphone to your wrist. If you've ever forgotten where you parked your car, you'll be glad you can ask your Gear S where it's parked. GPS. And as you can see, you can make and receive calls directly on your wrist, as well as get calls forwarded when you're away from your smartphone. That's because with Gear S, we've significantly expanded the communication capabilities to include not only Bluetooth, but also 3G networks and Wi-Fi. You'll get notifications. You'll get those notifications from social networks, from email and other applications, as well as instantly receiving incoming messages. That's right. And then, just like with your smartphone, you can easily reply using the on-screen QWERTY keyboard. Great. So even without my phone, I can receive my text message and I can reply to them. Yeah. Or you yeah, could reply up. using the enhanced S voice. Which works even better than before because Gear S has a built-in engine to process voice, which means no need to talk to a server and therefore no delay. OK, and just like the excitement that you're anticipating for the developer community for Note Edge, um, I imagine you're hoping for a similar response for Gear S as well. No, we certainly are, because a product is only as good as the apps that run on it. Well said. And since we have introduced the Gear a year ago, we have established more than 1,000 apps with partners including Expedia, Glimpse, Endomondo, and the good news is they're all supported by Gear S. Wow. Done your homework. Samsung knows the importance of a healthy ecosystem that's built around our products. And that's why we're constantly working with partners to create rich applications specifically for Gear S, and why we've invested in our platform to develop compelling native apps. Two of which are S Health, which we're going to talk about later, and Here for Gear. Now, Here for Gear is a pedestrian navigation service that uses GPS to help you get around. And it's all customized for Gear S and built right in. And David, you mentioned S Health a second ago. Yes. Um, and that's intrigued me because health and wearables is such a hot topic right now. Um, I mean, it's literally changing the way the world's health needs are met. Yes, and that's why Samsung has developed a, a particular platform, an entire platform, for fitness and well-being. We call it S Health. OK. 
Okay. So now you can link our new Gear Circle wearable to the Gear S and listen to your workout music. Plus, connect Gear S to a variety of apps and sensors via Bluetooth or Anti Plus to help monitor your health and exercise and give you real-time information about both. And with Gear S, you can use S Health and get your notifications no matter where your smartphone is. Our built-in pedometer analyzes all your movements and gives you info about how you're doing. And with Gear S's GPS and altimeter, you have better access to information when you're on your workouts. Gear S is optimized for different ex exercises like running versus cycling, or even perhaps hiking versus weightlifting. UV information is at your fingertips from a built-in sensor. So for example, just before you go out for a jog, you'll know what kind of SPF protection to wear based on recommendations <laughs> from the app. And after the workout is finished, you'll get suggestions on how to improve. It's like having a personal coach. Not only does S Health keep you in shape, but we've also collaborated with Nike to create a running experience that allows you to leave your phone at home, still map runs out, and stay motivated while on the move. And of course, we made sure you can fully personalize the straps and bangles with a variety of colors. <laughs> Plus, more exclusive accessories with Swarovski. Lovely. Back to the crystals again. I like it. Um, crystals are popular. We all um, love the and crystals. The other thing I liked about Gear S is that it makes life easier because normally you'd have to reconnect your fitness band to your smartphone to get your stats. But with the Gear S, it's just all here on my wrist. That's right. Because we believe that with Gear S, Samsung delivers the world to your wrist. And for those times that you want to be out of this world, We've got a product for that as well. Okay, I've been waiting for this part. Um, I'm so excited. Ever since DJ Lee mentioned it at the top of the show, I heard it got a huge reaction. Um, and I'm going to put my cards on the table. I'm a massive VR fan. Since the first go, I've been hooked. It's so immersive. So can we get it out? And this is going to top anything you've ever experienced or expected. I'm sure. Virtual reality allows us to extend the way we look, we see, and we can experience content. We can be there, wherever there is, from travel to distant or even imaginary lands, to games of skill or adventure. If we can't have a direct experience of something, then we want the best indirect experience we can possibly <laughs> dream of. And making that dream come true is Samsung's bold next step towards ultimate viewing experience. Mobile virtual reality powered by our Galaxy Note 4. This is our Samsung Gear VAR Virtual Reality, powered by our Galaxy Note 4. This is our Samsung Gear VR Innovation Edition, powered by Oculus. Thank Rachel. you. For me, where am I going? Where are you taking Take me? A seat. Please have a seat. Okay, safety first. Yes. We've okay. designed Gear. Gear VR, especially for innovative yeah. consumers and developers, who, with the support of Samsung, will move virtual reality to the bold next new level. So all you need to do is you put your Note 4 right in, like, like we did, and you put on the headset, <laughs> just like you did, and now you're ready to go okay. anywhere. Now I'm seeing this for the first time, so I'm just going to describe, hopefully there's something like well, I'm seeing yeah, behind we, me, there's, we can there's see people it. here. Oh, you, you're, you're now a woman in a tutu. I've never said that voice. I've got a couple of acrobats in front of me. And it's like I'm in a theatre. It's like I'm there, because I can turn around now. All I'm watching is empty seats <laughs> and back, seats. and they're carrying on. I mean, it's incredible. So what you're seeing is a 360-degree virtual reality just by turning your head. It's, it's keeping it's up like with my there. movements as well. There's absolutely no lag. The screen is amazing. So I mean, as and Rachel's the sparkles almost, as, on his outfit. As Rachel's almost there, we're going to have to take that off. Take it so off. We, we might have to continue okay, the show. Back in the room. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Rachel. So, sorry, it's, it's fabulous. Um, I mean, there's so many hyperboles I could use, but can you tell us a bit about the hardware of yeah, the headset? Of course. So that is silver-colored glass applied onto a white body. Uh -huh. In addition to style, we designed the headset focusing on ergonomics and comfort, so nothing stands between you and the immersive experience. And because the Note 4 is housed inside the Gear VR, you get to have an untethered virtual reality. Absolutely. I mean, it looks brilliant. I think you'll agree. It's so stylish. It wouldn't look out of place on something like a Daft Punk video. Right. Right. Um, and VR is going to be used a lot by gamers, isn't it, who demand a smooth experience. And if I'm judging by my experience I just had, then you guys have nailed it. 
Well, it's great. And of course, as you mentioned, in order for people to enjoy full VR content, the input has to be processed really smoothly without delay or any latency. So Samsung has applied the industry's top-notch super accuracy sensor into the Gear VR. It dramatically reduces the processing time to turn motion into pictures. And it processes at a tremendous speed of less than 20 milliseconds. At that rate, latency isn't noticed, no. so that you get that comfortably rich VR content delivered at industry-leading speeds. Yeah, I mean, it certainly kept up with me. And rarely do you see something that you just know is the future of tech, that this is it. And I think I've already mentioned, but the Note 4 screen in here is absolutely incredible because another thing that a VR headset must have is great picture quality, isn't it? It sure is. And because even though there's no delay in processing content, the focus will be disrupted if the display resolution is low. Yeah. But that's not a problem with Gear VR because we adopted Super AMOLED, which is the key for providing quad HD VR content at that amazing response time. With Gear VR, you'll be, you'll be able to enjoy a high resolution display with a 96 degree viewing angle, which is the equivalent of standing two meters away from a 175 inch mega screen. <laughs> wow. So two meters away from 175 inches. You know, I don't actually have a wall in my flat that's 175 inches, so this is perfect for me. If I just yeah. take this now Rachel, and, and test it that's really nice to know, but we'll be we taking care of the VR. Thank you. <laughs> Worth a try. But of course, we didn't get there alone with this great capability. We had a great partner. Please welcome to the stage, Chief Technology Officer of Oculus, John Carmack. All right, I'm really excited to finally be able to talk about this. It's been a secret project for too long. So I've dedicated the last year of my life to making the best mobile VR system possible, and I'm really proud of what we've been able to accomplish so far. So a completely mobile VR is a magical thing. You can pick it up and take it with you. You can put it on and then turn completely 360 degrees in the virtual world but it's a hard problem to do well. And we need to bring a lot of different technologies to bear on this. So one of the biggest ones is the Samsung Super AMOLED display. The, uh, unlike an LCD panel, which can take 10 or 20 milliseconds to change pixel state, the Super AMOLEDs can turn on and off almost instantly. This lets us light up a pixel and then turn it off a fraction of a frame later, which lets us kill motion blur. Now these screens are such high resolution that there was a lot of skepticism about what level of graphics we would be re able to render at the consistent rates necessary for virtual reality. But Samsung's gotten us very low level access to the hardware platform here, and this has enabled us to develop an innovative software architecture that can continue to maintain smooth, accurate updates from the head tracking, even when the system is actually overloaded. So the critical path in virtual reality is the time that it takes from some motion of your head until the time that updated light from the display hits your eyes. This is the motion to photons latency. This starts with the sensor inside the head mount display. Now, it's similar to what's inside the phones, but it updates at five times the rate and it's calibrated to a much higher standard of accuracy. Now, unlike a typical touch event that winds through the system through all sorts of different layers, we have a custom kernel driver that our sensor talks to that then talks to our apps, cutting out a lot of middlemen along the way. Then our applications are run with a real-time scheduling priority. This means that if your email client decides to try to make an update in the middle while you're playing, it can't preempt the virtual reality threads, which is very important. We also have guaranteed clock rates, which is unusual in the mobile world, where clock rates are usually constantly fluctuated to optimize different things. But now developers can choose a specific rate and then optimize for it. Our graphics are being drawn with multiple context-prioritized GPU threads. This means that the main world can be drawn at variable rates while a second higher priority thread is updating the screen in very quick response to the head tracking inputs. This is very, very important for our critical, you know, the, get closing that loop of how you move to what you see. Now, the drawing is done to a completely unbuffered window. 
There's no page flipping going on here. We're racing the raster, drawing just ahead of the scan that's pulling it out to the Super AMOLED display. And then the display turns on and then turns off again quickly to kill the motion blur. The photons jump off the screen, bend through the lenses, make their way to your eye, and hopefully you say, wow, this is really impressive. <laughs> now, this is just the beginning. We have active technology work going on in all the different aspects here, and we are expecting to make continuous improvements as we go forward, but this is really a landmark first step. So thank you. John, John, before you go, we, we are absolutely delighted to have you here on stage, of course, and even more delighted to be taking that first landmark step in this technology with you. Finding great partners is a large part of making that progress. Together, Oculus and Samsung have created, we think, the best mobile virtual reality experience, and we're really looking forward to bringing it to market with you. John, thank you very much. Oh, it's been a great partnership that's allowed us to make this possible. Thank, thank you. you. Great. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. to try that on stage here today because I really do love the Gear VR. And the educational possibilities are incredible as well. I mean, if you think about it, they're already training pilots using VR. So just think about the possibilities when we could all have the opportunity to have one of these devices in our own homes. And they're limitless. That's, that's one of our hopes, Rachel. Yet, even with all this cutting edge hardware and software, in reality, if you will, consumers want, need, and deserve exciting content. So without the content, there really is no experience. So we'll be offering you a virtual movie theater of your very own, oh, the Oculus VR Cinema. Engaging virtual reality games and content you can enjoy in a full 360 degree experience. And just like the other Samsung products, we're investing in the mobile VR ecosystem to make sure that top tier partners representing a wide range of brands develop great content in the areas of gaming, entertainment, experiential, and of course, education. Through ongoing cooperation, <laughs> through ongoing cooperation with Oculus and many other partners, we'll keep working to provide amazing content for the Samsung Gear VR. Well, David and Rory, this really is a remarkable range of devices you've shared with us today. You can be very proud of them, that's for sure. Um, first of all, there were all the amazing improvements you made with the Note series, with the new Note 4, and then breaking the mold in such an innovative way with the new Note Edge, and then you moved us on upping the game with Gear S, and finally, the incredible technology you've got going on there with Gear VR. I know you're all excited to have a go very shortly, but what a great portfolio. Thank you, Rachel. We're really excited about the 